Good morning and welcome back. You know, while we've been often been told that there are three things you don't discuss at holiday gatherings, religion, politics and money, that tide is starting to turn. Well, at least when it comes to the money, right? In fact, experts say family gatherings are a great time to bring up financial items while everyone is together and can support each other. Here to try to make this conversation less awkward is local financial professional Stuart from Open Air Advisors. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, good morning. Glad to be here. Uh, glad to have you here. All right, where do we start? Why is this important to discuss, I guess, financial matters at the dinner table? It, it's very important because what you don't want to do is be caught in, in really difficult times without a plan. So mm -hmm. as the family's all together uh, around Christmas, around Thanksgiving, this is a good time. Sometimes it could be awkward. So we uh, really need to approach these topics with a little sensitivity. Um, but this is a really good good time to sit down, kind of figure out basically what's going on with mom, dad, maybe you know aunt and uncles, mm -hmm. figure out basically what their plan is and try to slowly kind of gauge where they might be with their retirement coming up. Okay, so we're talking about plans for retirement or plans for just like living? A um, little both, a okay. little both. I mean, there's, there's a lot of topics out there like uh, estate planning. So mm -hmm. estate planning doesn't necessarily mean retirement age. It could be 35, 45, 50 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, what is the plan if something were to happen to you? Uh, many people have children. And so what's the plan for those children if something were to happen to you? Um, do you have a will? And not only do you have a will, but mm. does your family know where it is? And is it completed? So there's a lot of things that could really be costly mistakes if you haven't really talked to your, your, your family about these issues. Are those the topics you think we should all focus on? Uh, absolutely. Got three. Yes, right. So, uh, so long-term care is, oh, is one of those things. Wow. After the pandemic, long-term care expenses and medical expenses in general have really uh, geared up, um, increased very dramatically. Mm -hmm. So, one of ten people are caretakers. So, with the expenses on the rise, it's about five thousand dollars a month in assisted living. Ooh. And that, and it's just going up from there. And that's yeah. just an average cost. So I've mm -hmm. seen costs of eight, nine, ten thousand dollars per month. And so if you don't have a plan for that, and so you have to kind of approach your your parents or your family, and say like, All right, you know, where are you? Like, yeah. you know, and so you have to make plans as maybe a a daughter or a son to make sure that you're around to help them out in case you need to come around the house, you know, two or three times a week or, or even more. That's really a good one to start talking about. I know that's something my family and I are talking about as well as the long term planning for my grandmother. But what what do you say, I guess, to family members like Uncle Joe that's kind of bragging about his investments and he's doing so well? How do you deal with that? at the dinner table. It happens. It, it definitely happens, especially if you have, you know, a pretty festive uh, Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. It can definitely be a uh, type of people who, who kind of boast. And, and for someone who is maybe just getting started, mm. uh, might be kind of intimidated by, by that, that family member. So they might go into a turtle shell. They may not oh. really bring up their, their concerns or their, you know, where they're about because they're, they're afraid because their portfolio doesn't look like that. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes too, the person that's, that's boasting the most might be in the most trouble. And that's the, the and that's their way of basically uh, saying, don't look at me. I'm the expert here. Uh, you know, nothing to see here. Good point. Good point. How can people reach out to you to get some help, maybe heading into the new year? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people with a lot of questions right now, yeah. especially coming yeah. out of the pandemic. Uh, we host a lot of dinners with a lot of good, oh, wow. uh, a lot of good information. A lot of firms do the same thing. So I encourage with, with people being sensitive, and especially not wanting to bring up with your family. And, you know, some families were brought very traditional where they kind of separated, you know, the money from the kids. So if that's kind of your family, maybe just encourage them to go out to a dinner. Um, you know, they're all about the same. So really kind of find one that's balanced. Are they working with CPAs? Are they working with attorneys? Mm. Um, do they have those people, you know, inside their own buildings? So those are really good questions right now. Really good ways to seek information um, during these, you know, holiday period. Oh man, great advice, great insight as well. Thank you so much for joining us here on Daybreak. Thank you.